When you look at the landscape of the Southern California desert, you can see we have not done a really good job in many respects of protecting uh, or planning the land uses in the desert. There's a lot of garbage, a lot of unplanned development, a lot of sprawl, a lot of uh, very significant impacts that nobody bothered with. And renewable energy projects represent a challenge to the, the hopes and, and, and goals of some of the folks that want to protect the desert. California is standing on the threshold of a revival of renewable energy on a scale that we haven't seen uh, since the very beginning. And there's also been a curious lack of planning for renewable energy in the desert, even though we have some of the very best resources in the world. And so we had a lot of projects coming in with applications and they were controversial and, and that process was contentious in some cases. But what, what happens when a project finally gets through the permitting process is it's a better project. It has less environmental impact than it would have had if it was built in another state. California has about 15% renewables now in 2010. We expect to get to 20% uh, in a couple more years. Um, but the most important development that's happening is finally, after all of the time and effort made and having policies adopted and debates and discussions, we're, we're on the verge of seeing a, a large number of new renewable megawatts uh, begin construction. And it's a very exciting development. These renewable energy projects present the opportunity to put people back to work from the very same construction industry that has been idled with the housing downturn. So it's not just a matter of some green jobs and long-term investments in global warming. It's a matter of jump-starting our economy right now. These are not pipe dreams. These are not PowerPoints. These are projects getting ready to be built and jobs getting ready. One of the problems with our our planning process for transmission and for power plants is that it hasn't always included involvement and engagement by the people who would be the most directly affected. Uh, we've got to find a way to have a conversation. Sometimes that conversation is difficult. What CERT tries to do is bring people together and get them to listen to each other and find a common ground. But we, we need to have a plan for the desert that, that has uh, all of the resources and all the stakeholders somehow working together. And, and I think the vision of being able to revive our economy with clean energy and have uh, significant conservation and protection of desert lands is something that we can achieve. California has begun the largest build out of solar and wind energy in the world. We must seize the opportunity to get it right this time. Working together, we can transform our energy system and end our dependence on oil and fossil fuels. Join CERT in making the new energy economy a reality.